Well, hello, handsome. Haven't seen you here before. I take it you're a man of daring if you decided to join a little poker game. You do understand that we play for very high stakes. Anything can be wagered, and believe me, everything has been. You in? Well then, go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Marco, would you mind collecting his money and giving him his chips? Much appreciated. Jenny, be a dear and deal the cards. I have a feeling that things are about to get very interesting. Well, cutie, it looks like it's down to just you and me. Lady Luck has been smiling down on me all night long. I'd say it hasn't been your night, but the truth is that you've done far better than everybody else at the table. Except for me, of course. They all cut their losses and ran off a while ago, which is fine by me. Sure, it prevents me from winning more of their money, but i much rather spend the night keeping the sight of your gorgeous face all to myself. Oh, be careful, cutie. That blush is an easy tell at this table. It may not reveal what cards you're holding, but it certainly reveals something far more valuable to me. Jenny, I'll take two cards off the top, please. How about you, cutie? Not taking anything? Well, well, somebody thinks they've got a good hand. Tell me about yourself, cutie. Like, what do you do for a living? Really? That doesn't sound like how most people who walk through these doors spend their day. How did you even hear about our little game? Well, this just gets more and more interesting. A mysterious letter shows up out of nowhere. Do tell. An invitation with the promise of an opportunity to clear your debt. Now, what kind of debt could you have, sweetheart? Don't tell me you've been associating with the wrong kinds of people. A brother, you say? Oh, the mafia? Oh, that makes more sense. You don't appear to be the foolish type. You've been hoping to win enough money to pay off his debt and to make sure no harm comes to him, is that right? Well, let's see if you can win some of that back right now. I call. Show your cards, honey. My, my, a flush. You did have a good hand, didn't you? But not quite good enough, I'm afraid. Full house, aces over tens. That's the last of your money, isn't it, darling? Oh, don't look so sad. You know, I think your sorrowful expression may just cause me to cry. I don't want to see such a beautiful face suffer. You truly touched my heart with your plight, cutie. So, I'll tell you what. Let's play one more game for everything. Oh, that's not true. You do have something left to bet with. I want to play for you. One game of high card. That's it. We each draw a single card. High card wins. If you win, you get all the money on this side of the table. I'm sure that's more than enough to clear your brother's debt and keep him alive. And if I win, I will personally call your brother's debtor and clear his account. And you will come with me to be my personal, shall we say, plaything. Oh, no, cutie. I give you this sacred vow. Harming you is the last thing I would want to do to you. Believe me. If I win, you will want for nothing for the rest of your life. You will simply be mine to do with as I please. Whether I want to tie you to my bed and make you my snuggle buddy, or even I choose to make you my... mate. You will have no say in the matter. You will be completely mine. Either way, your brother lives debt-free. It's a win-win, don't you think? What do you say? Very good. Well then, let's get to it, shall we? Jenny, do you mind cutting the deck? Thank you. After you, cutie. Ladies first. Gallant as well as beautiful. I love it. Ah, the Queen of Hearts. What an utterly perfect card for what I have in store for you, lover. Well, you've drawn your card. Are you going to reveal it? But I suppose there's no need now, is there? Your tells have been written all over your face all night, my dear. And right now it's clear that your brother gains his freedom and you lose yours. Oh, but don't worry, sweetie. Cheer up. This could turn out to be the greatest thing that has ever happened to you if you let it. Jenny, thank you for a lovely evening as usual. Marco, would you mind wrapping up my purchase and taking him home for me, please? I have a few things to attend to first in order to honor my side of the agreement and ensure that my new toy's brother remains among the living. Ta-ta for now, lover. 
and there he is, my adorable gift to myself, all wrapped up and placed under the proverbial tree to be opened at Christmas. Of course, that's not for nearly 200 days, so it looks like you'll just have to stay wrapped up for just a little while longer in order to let me unwrap you at the appropriate time. <laughs> oh, don't look so concerned. It probably won't be that long before I loosen these binds. It depends upon my mood each and every day. I can be such a fickle girl. <laughs> Are you comfortable? A shrug? I suppose that's fair. There was no need for Marco to gag at you as well. No one could possibly hear you through these walls, but I suppose he knew I would enjoy unwrapping that part of my present myself. And for now, I think you should just listen to me, your new owner. I hope you don't mind if I snuggle up next to you. As I am your new owner, you don't have much of a choice. However, that doesn't mean that I don't want you to like it. I truly want you to thoroughly enjoy every single aspect of your new life. I want you to enjoy laying close to me like this when I gently wrap my arms around you. I want you to enjoy it when I lay your sweet head on my chest as I'm doing now, and I so want you to enjoy it when I run my fingers gently through your precious hair, as I'm doing now. My, my sweetie, that was an intense shiver. You are thoroughly enjoying this, aren't you? I must say, that shiver thrills me. I may have to leave you tied up like this for a very long time. If you're going to react this way to my pampering, but as long as you're wrapped up, that just means that I'll be totally and completely responsible for the well-being of my new plaything, pet, lover. Now what do I call you? I suppose that remains to be seen, now doesn't it? But I am so going to enjoy finding out. I don't honestly know when I'm going to decide to undo these ties. To be fair, you do look incredibly cute laying on my bed helplessly at my mercy. Marco did a great job tying you up, don't you think? The bow was a particularly nice touch. Maybe I won't ever want to untie my adorably sweet pet. Yes, I think I like pet for now. Now, my pet, you do know that you have some limited control over your situation. As to when I will decide to untie you, some of it depends upon you now, doesn't it? If your demeanor pleases me, your bonds will come off more quickly. I need to be certain that you won't take an opportunity to welch on our bed. If I were to loosen your bonds now, you may decide to try to flee. And if you manage to succeed, well, that would break my heart. I never want you to leave me, pet. Ever. You see, I have a confession to make. I've known about you for a long time now. One might say I've been totally infatuated with you. Allow me to lay your head down so I can climb on top of you. I want to gaze into your starry eyes as I confess my undying love for you. You see, my pet, we've met before. Don't worry if you don't remember or don't recognize me. I'll regale you with the tale of your loving kindness to me another day. But right now, you just seem to know that I love you. I do, and I've wanted you for so long now. I've been watching you for several months. If you haven't been able to figure it out by now, I am a woman of extraordinary means. In fact, I have the means to purchase anything I desire, and what I have desired for a while now is you. I consider just taking you while you slept and bring you here to me. That's how badly I wanted you. But when there are other means to achieve your goal, kidnapping is so comparably messy. There are so many things that could go wrong, and you can risk an overzealous detective who can't be bought stumbling onto the truth. No, much better to control all the variables. The poker game was mine. Diller was mine as well. None of the men at the table today stood a chance, least of all you. Every single card given out was there by design. The mysterious invitation you received, that was mine too. Now, I will say that I certainly did not get your brother into financial difficulties with the wrong people. No, no, my pet, that was of his own design. However, when I became aware of it, I did use that information to my benefit. I knew such a kind, caring, adorably passionate man such as yourself couldn't possibly forfeit a chance to save his brother, even if that brother was foolish enough to get himself into such a ridiculous dilemma. And once you arrived at the game, you were mine. You just didn't know it yet. Oh, and don't worry about your brother. He truly is safe from harm. I told you before that it is my sacred vow never to hurt you, and allowing your brother to come to harm would hurt you as surely as any physical pain that could be applied. I love you. I do so love you, my pet, and I desperately want you to love me back. Maybe not today, but someday. 
and I knew that leaving your brother to his own fate would severely harm my chances of ever gazing into those beautiful, glowing eyes and seeing true love staring back at me. And on that note, I want you to rest on the fact that I will never, ever take advantage of my sweet, innocent, adorable little pet. You are mine, but I will not simply do as I please. For example, as I remove your gag allowing myself access to your sweet, tender lips. I will still not take what I so desire without your full consent. If you wish for me to take my liberty with you, then you must say the words, kiss me. Say it again, pet. One more time. I'm sorry, my pet. I'll be right back. Marco, I told you not to bother me until morning. You thought I'd want to know what? Really? How? Jenny was in control of the... That's right. I was to draw the second card. How could I have... Never mind. Thank you, Marco. I'm glad you told me. Dear pet, in our last game of high card, you never revealed your card. You simply acceded to my victory. Why did you not show your card and confirm your loss? Yes, I know that you conceded, but you drew an ace, did you not? You can speak, my pet. Please. I want you to speak. I want you to be mine. Believe me when I say I love you more than anything and I want you here with me forever. But I am a woman of my word and by the rules that I myself established, you won the game. You should have your money and your freedom. Please speak my... No, I can't call you my pet because I don't own you. You're not mine. You're not... Why are you calming me down? You should be upset that I haven't untied you yet and released you. By the rules of the game, you won. I lost. I've lost you. What do you mean I won? You had the higher card. You folded? By conceding the game, you acknowledged me as a victor. You, you lost intentionally? You're saying you did recognize me? You remember. You fell for me too, and ever since we met, you wish you knew how to get a hold of me. You wanted to find me again. And when you saw me at the table, you were hoping that this was a setup? When I created the stakes for Alaskan, you wanted me to take you. By losing to me, you say you want everything. My pet. No, my love. Let me hold you. Let me embrace you like I am now, forever. I will never let you go, I promise. I will spend the rest of my life ensuring that you are the happiest man alive. That is my now sacred vow that I pledge to you. What's that? You say that it can start by calling you my pet again? <laughs> you really liked it. <laughs> of course, my pet. Anything for you. Anything. You are my good, good boy, now and forever. Yes, my pet? The ties? Well, I could take them off now, but then I did just vow to you to make you the happiest man alive. And that might be easier to do if I leave them on for at least a little while longer, don't you think? <laughs> yes, that's what I thought, my pet. Now, lay back and relax. I'm gonna take very good care of you.